Greetings everyone, I am Western Angel 11 back again to bring you all another episode of Flea Market Finds. So, let's get into it. Starting off today's episode, we have a Take Along Duncan. Now, the reason I got this model was because the only diecast Duncan that I have is the take and play one. I, mean, I also have the Erdo, but I'm not gonna count that model because I like to separate the Erdo models from the take longs and take and plays. And what I plan to do with this model is remove this very ugly looking face, replace it with the face of the take and play to make the perfect Duncan. And I'd of course paint up his wheels black because this, this is just not gonna cut it. This just looks terrible. White wheels, who on earth thought this would look good? Next up we have some wooden railway items. First up we have a wooden railway fire engine, which is called hook and ladder. I find that kind of odd, because calling this a solar fire engine would have been much more logical instead of hook and ladder, but oh well I guess. Yeah, this model appears to be in pretty good condition. Nothing is chewed off or broken. Build chips on it, but that's to be expected. Yeah, you can also move these little sections here, which I quite appreciate. And an odd thing that I noticed on this model is that the windshield wipers are on top of the windshield instead of on the bottom of it. Yeah, it's pretty odd, because in most vehicles the windshield wiper is on the bottom of the windshield, not on the top of it. Yeah, I don't know if that's accurate, but maybe it's some kind of error on my model. Oh well. Next up, we have Molly. Now as you can see, unfortunately, this Molly model does not have her tender. What is this, like the sixth wooden railway item that I've had, which is missing its tender? Yeah, I seem to have this big trend of tender engines and wooden railway not having their tenders. Like I have Donald, Douglas, Hank, come on, who else is that? I have like two different Henry variants which are also missing their tenders. Now Molly also has this issue. Cool. And yeah, looking around her, she's in pretty good condition. Only real major damage that I can spot is, well, these chips here on the side, but besides that she's in pretty good condition. An interesting thing that I noticed on this model is that if you look at the bottom, you will notice that this is a model that was made by Tomy. Which I found quite surprising because I have this false belief that every single engine in Wooden Railway produced by Tomy has a face that looks something among the lines of this. <coughs> so yeah, as you can guess, I was quite surprised by the fact that this model here was made by Tomy. Which are the same people that made this thing. Yeah. But in general, I'm glad to have Molly in my collection. And the very last wooden railway item that I have to show to you guys today is this 2014 wooden railway Henry. Now the thing is that I've already got a 2014 wooden railway Henry, except that model was lacking the tender. Whereas the one that I got here today does indeed have its tender, which I'm very happy about. Yeah, the ironic thing is that the 2014 Wooden Railway Henry that I have, which is missing its tender, was also bought on the flea market, just like this model. That's quite ironic. Only way this would have been even more ironic is if this was bought from the exact same seller as the other one, which was missing the tender, but it wasn't, so, meh, who cares. One odd thing that I never really understood about the 2014 era wooden railway tender engines with the bogies is that their bogies were made of plastic. This just feels so weird to me honestly, like I'm so used to their bogies being made of wood. Like a molly here, it just feels so much nicer. That means plastic just feels so off. This was obviously a cross cutting procedure done by Mattel. Oddly enough, the 2016-2017 variant of Henry no longer has the plastic bogies, it has the wood bogies, which I quite like. So yeah, in general I'm happy to have gone this Henry model. Now let's get into some Tomy items. First we have two engines here. We have a Tomy Gordon and a Tomy Henry. 
Now you may be asking why I decided to buy these. Well, two reasons. One, they were cheap. And two, they were in practically mint condition. So I would have felt kind of bad if I left them out there to rot away in the sun. And they were in such good condition. I've tested both of them and they both run splendidly. Looking around this Henry, there's barely any chips on them either. Look at the pinstriping, it's all there. Stickers are also all there as you can see. I mean sure, this one here on the tender is all wet. As you can see, there's a stain all over it. Well, besides that, it's in macular condition. Of course, the wires aren't snapped here or anything like that. You can check the Gordon here as well. Look at the condition of this guy. I mean, okay, there's a little bit of dirt right there on one of his splashers. But besides that, he's in a macular condition. A little bit of stain there. Maybe it's a chip. I'm not entirely sure. But there's nothing broken off. Like, commonly you see like a buffer broken off one of these. Well, that's mostly on the models that are sun affected. And these, neither of these guys are sun affected, of course. Not even the eyebrows are chipped off. I mean, these guys are in immaculate condition. So yeah, I'm very glad to have gotten these guys. The next Tommy engine that I'm going to show off is this Tommy Duck. And as you can see, this model is not in the best condition. The GWR stickers on the sides are completely gone. This number 8 is slowly falling off. On this side, it's not much better. And the cab decals are still on relatively well. They have buffer beams all chipped up. Chunk of the funnel is missing. Yeah, not in the best condition. Yeah, if you open it up, you can also see that this section here of the motor is completely rusted off the axle you can kind of see it you can see it better on the side how rusty it is yeah it doesn't look good I may be asking why I got this duck model since it is in such garbage condition well it's simple really like the other two it was cheap however I didn't buy it because it was in good condition because clearly it's not I bought it so I can use it as a dummy model in case I want to film something where my main duck model could get damaged I can use this guy right here as a stun double so yeah if I want to remake an episode like the one where Arthur shoved the train into the back of duck train gets covered and also it's of fruits and such I could easily do that with this dummy model now ending off the Tommy section, we have two pieces of rolling stock. It was a simple little troublesome box car. Already have quite a few of these. This here is definitely the eighth one. I'm pretty sure it's the eighth one now at least. And though might even have more than that, but that's basically all I have to say for this dude. And the other piece of rolling stock is a Tommy Sodor fuel tanker. Well, surprisingly enough, this is my very first Sodor fuel tanker in Tomy. And yeah, I was kind of surprised too, I could have sworn I've had at least one of these lying around, but no. I had a couple of other yellow tankers in Tomy Trackmaster, but neither of them were Sodor fuel. Like I had like two of the ones that came from the Tomy Percy Free Pack. But yeah. So I'm very glad to finally have a Sodor fuel tanker in Tomy Trackmaster. And now, to cap off this episode of Flea Market Finds, the very last I'm done going to be showing you all is this Erto Harvey. Now, you could probably already notice a critical flaw of this model, that being the fact that his funnel is completely missing. Yeah, it's definitely quite unfortunate, but I didn't have a Harvey model in Erto up until now, so I decided to buy it because it was also pretty cheap. And besides the lack of a funnel, this model is in pretty good condition. I'm sure you can see, like, this crane arm is not broken off or anything like that. Its couplings are relatively intact. It can roll somewhat okay. So yeah. I'm gonna keep this model up until I find one which does indeed have its funnel. And once I do, I'll probably give this to all my friends. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have finally gone on Earth to Harvey, even if it's missing its phone. And that does it for another episode of Flea Market Finds. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll make sure to see you all next time. Goodbye.